Okay, so I finally got around to building uh, up the iFlight HL7 frame, and this one is a special build with the new Zing motors. You can see here, these are the Zing, uh, here the 2207, yeah, 2207 1700 kV. I gotta say, uh, these are some of the smoothest motors I've ever uh, flown before. Very, very smooth. Decent power, obviously at this low KV on a 2207 motor, it's not a ton of torque in terms of low end and, and not a ton of top end on 4S. This is what I flew it on. I flew this on 4S. And yeah, you'll see that in the uh, GoPro footage here I took. The build itself, not terribly interesting other than the uh, these two 1700 kV motors. I'm just using a Diatone Mamba stack here. You've seen that before in the, the GT Tyrant. Uh, I am using a new a video transmitter from Fox here that uh, hasn't come out yet, so it's a prototype and it's not for sale anywhere. I am using uh, the long range R9 uh, receiver here, the mini receiver. So I have a little tuck back, tucked away back here, and then I just have. Uh, this configuration it's kind of hard to see. Let's see. I just basically have one long. Uh, this is a forever tube here, and I have uh, this antenna uh, in a straight. It's a dipole, so it's very, it's one long straight antenna here, and it kind of comes out the bottom right there. So not sure if this is the best for reception. I didn't really. It wasn't really testing long range because I don't really have anywhere to fly super far away. But I was flying, I think it was flying on like 10 milliwatts or something, something pretty small. So I wasn't really going for distance. But this is the way I uh, mounted up my R9 ante antenna on the back here. And then I just used a little zip tie here. The rest of the build is not that interesting. It's just like any other 5 inch build that we've seen on my channel. And um, I have the, obviously have the GoPro mounted in here as well. The weight of the build, I'm sure if you guys are wondering about that. Uh, without the GoPro and no battery, it was 434 grams. I'll put a photo up here if you want to see that. And then I, I do have um, a GPS installed here as well. You know, that's so that's what that little platform is there, that little extra piece that people are wondering about. That's uh, just for GPS. I just have that taped on there. Worked fine. Um, nothing too special there. I'll put all the parts in the description. Uh, but the thing I want to talk about mostly was the motors. Good motors, but at 1700 kV on 4S, even on a 7 inch uh, power on the top end, not so great. So I think that if you're looking for power, and I've seen other pilots fly the other variants, like this, I think there's a 2306 as well with higher kV, like I think 2450, 2650 kV for 4S. So I think those are going to be better for freestyle. This here, I think uh, at 1700 kV, if you get the lower kV of the uh, 2207. That should do really well on 6S on a 5 inch. Now I'm going to ask them, I'm going to ask iFlight if this motor will be able to handle 6S on the 7 inch if I don't really push the throttle all the way to the top end. Because I'm thinking that on 4S, uh, I could, I'm sorry, on 6S, I could probably get more performance out of this. Maybe prop it down from a 7 inch to a 6 inch if you guys are interested in seeing the performances motor on 6S. I think that's what was really, it was really intended for, I think, 5 inch. And 6s, but on a 7 inch and 4s on this on this 1500 milliamp hour lipo. This is not a very good lipo, by the way. It's an okay lipo. I got like an eight minute flight. So if you're looking for you know, a long range 7 inch cruiser um, with with really good flight times, this motor is definitely one you want to check out. You, you can definitely carry a bigger battery than this 1500. Uh, you could probably put a 2200, at least an 1800 4s on here and get a, at least a 10 minute flight or longer uh, depending upon uh, your flying style, where you're flying, etc. If you want to do long range, I think that's what people are really doing, are really going for on a 7 inch. I don't think that they're taking 7 inch trains and doing, you know, freestyle tricks and Matty Stunts tricks with the 7 inch. So for this setup, this motor and this frame is a good combination on 4S. Uh, I'm going to try and see if this works on 6S and we'll see how that goes. Gonna see if, I, if if the motor is able to handle that without blowing up. So I'll, you might see another a video in the future on that. If you're interested in seeing that, do definitely leave me a comment below. And uh, if I see a lot of interest, I might move it up in the queue. Otherwise, I'll just uh, I'll do when I have spare time. Anyway, um, 
Here's the uh, flight demo footage for you it's from the GoPro and uh, a little bit of the FPV footage at the, for, for the FPV feed as well. Yeah, it flies real different. Uh, I think his pids are maybe a little on the loose side, but it's not having any kind of weird vibrations or anything. There's a little bit of vibration there. Doesn't seem all that fast. I don't think I'd use this as a freestyler or a racer. This is, I'm looking at this more as a cruiser, long distance. Anyway, so let's take this a little bit further out. I'm, doing, I'm going to be using this as part of my receiver testing. 200 milliwatts on this video transmitter is nice and clear. I'm obviously very close here. This um, Foxier Falcor uh, mini camera. Very nice clean signal. And I'm also recording this on the GoPro as well. I have no idea if the uh, milliamp hour reading there is accurate or not. I'll find out later, but I'm only on a 1500 milliamp hour 4S. Let's just go ahead and take this out a little further. I'm already at 3.8 volts, but it's holding steady, it looks like. 3.77. My RSSI is at 60 over here. 68, 72. I'm on 100 milliwatts on the R9M. 50s. About 100, 200 meters away. And probably could go a little further. My video is not so great, even at 200 milliwatts over here. But I'm not using a patch antenna on my fat sharks, I'm using a patch antenna on the other receivers I'm testing. So that ought to give a Interesting idea of what the video is like at 200 meters on 200 milliwatts, at least on those receivers. That'll be a separate video. If I go out over here, the video seems okay. I do have a GPS on here, in case I didn't mention that earlier. Yeah, it's nice and strong, the video signal is nice and strong on this direction. Maybe there's a, some interference over that area over there. A little bit of interference there. But I think as a, as a long range cruiser, this is not bad. I'm at 3.7 volts now. Probably need to think about uh, landing this soon. Got about four minutes of flight time just cruising around. So if I take it out to like three and a half volts per cell, that would be about 14 volts. It'd be pretty reasonable for this setup. I just want to get an idea. I'll run it down to three and a half volts per cell and see what the flight time is like on a 1500. Obviously this thing can carry much more load. I, I could probably put a 2200 for us on here. Yeah, it says I only have 500 million, so I don't think that could be, that's probably accurate. I need to calibrate the current sensor. At a moment, four and a half minutes.
Now these Zing uh, 2207 motors are very smooth. It's just KB, obviously, I think they're really meant for 6S on a, on a 5 inch frame. Although, obviously, it will work on a 7 inch on 4S. You'll probably get a little more performance, less flight time if you go to 5S, possibly. Um, yeah, not sure. But I'm not really looking at, at a low 1700 KB motor uh, in this setup for something more performance related. More just kind of smooth flying. Uh, longer flight times and uh, you know try and capture some smooth aerial footage I think this could use a little bit more tuning I can still see some shaking uh, uh, could be the effects of the wind as well but not bad for default PIDs uh, no tuning at all yeah, 600 milliamps and 3.6 volts six minutes of flight time just cruising around on a 1500 4s Yeah, I don't hear any weird noises from the motors either. It's very smooth. 700 milliamps at just under 3.6 volts. So it is sucking down the juice very slowly. Obviously not a lot of, um, not really on the throttle too much here. I'm probably about at 30, 35% throttle here. Just cruising around, hovering. Put a uh, 2200 on here. You could probably get, I imagine, at least 10 minutes. One of the things I think I'm noticing about flying a seven inch is not as agile. So it's a little bit lower on the responsiveness because of the bigger frame and props and everything. All right, hit three and a half volts, 14 volts total. Eight minutes of flight time, not too bad. And I'm hitting in the low battery warning. It's time to bring it in. Not bad for eight minutes.